Good morning, Ardmore anchors, and welcome to WAES Morning News Show. Hi, my name is Pierre Benibolo from Mr. Dew's first grade class. Here to say the pledge. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, invisible, with liberty, and justice for all. You may be seated. Good morning, Ardmore Anchors. Principal Heron here. Hybrid learning is going well, and everyone is adjusting to our new procedures. Continue to monitor your grades in School Max Weekly. Also, in continuation of our two-way communication, please follow us on our social media platforms. And do not forget to continue to update your contact information to receive messages from our new school messenger system. Thank you, and have a wonderful day. Your Armour Inc. weather for today is probably the kind of high 53 degrees and 0% chance of precipitation. Your PBIS thought of the day is, it is our attitude at the beginning of a difficult task, which more than anything else will affect its successful outcome. William James. Remember Ardmore Anchors? Resilient Ardmore Scholars are anchored in the three R's. Be ready, be respectful, and be responsible. It is time for the Ardmore Anchor Word of the Day. Skinflint is a noun meaning a mean, stingy person, a miser. The sentence, a hard-nosed skinflint, the penny pincher refused to pay full price for anything. Skinflint, your Ardmore Anchor Word of the Day. Your announcements for today are as follows. Today is Thursday, April 22nd, 2021. Today is Earth Day, and first graders will take the I Ready Math test today. Important dates this month? Mathematics and Statistics Awareness, School Library Awareness, and National Autism Awareness all month long. First Baptist Church of Glen Arden will host a drive through grocery giveaway Thursday, April 29th, 12 noon to 2.30 at St. John's Evangelist Catholic Church and School in Clinton, Maryland. Attention staff, when arriving each day, don't forget the new COVID-19 rules. Complete front line before you arrive to school and do not forget your PPE and school photo ID. Teachers, please turn your attendance in daily and use the correct attendance codes. Parents, please make sure to notify all teachers and office staff via email of your child's absence, as well as the reason for the absence. Students, please remember to clear your cash each week and shut down your devices each day to allow them to rest, recharge, and receive weekly IT updates. Hybrid learners who ride the bus, please arrive 15 to 20 minutes early to the bus stop in the morning. And if someone's meeting you in the afternoon at the bus stop, they should arrive 15 to 20 minutes early as well. Prince George's County Public Schools provides bus service to students within the transportation boundaries only. Hybrid students, do not forget your charger and headphones. Virtual and distance learning for all students and staff on Wednesdays and masks are mandatory all day during hybrid learning. Hybrid learners must be able to navigate their devices and online platforms on their own as teachers are not allowed to assist students who are not in our special education and autism programs. These are all of your announcements. Ms. Christo and the testing team would like to shout out our first graders, their parents, teachers, and proctors for doing a fantastic job on the iReady reading test on Tuesday. Congratulations and good luck on the iReady math test today. You're going to be wonderful. Please raise your right hand and let's recite our school pledge. A one, two, a one, two, three. I pledge today to do my best in reading math and all the rest. I promise to obey the rules in my class and in the school. I respect myself and others too. I'll expect the best in all I do. I am here to learn all I can, to try my best to be all I am, to try my best to be all I am. Word. Tune in next time for our news at WAES. WAS is signing off. Everyone have a great, great virtual day.